Hello and welcome. This is Petra Breakstone and today I'm showing you how to knit this little pillow puff stitch sort of. It looks very textured and it's cute and it's kind of cozy and warm. Um, I have prepared a little swatch here. I've already done one repeat but um, I'm just going to show you how to do this because there is a you will knit and you will drop five stitches and then knit them together. But let me just show you how it goes. I do knit just in the beginning right here. I'm going to knit two, but the pattern stitch is um, <clears throat> you knit three and then you do the drop stitch. So pretend I did three here. Um, now the next stitch, we're going to take that off the needle. And don't be afraid, just hold your thumb over here for the first one. And you're going to drop that stitch. You go like one, drop one, drop two, drop three, drop four, and drop five. And then you go in with your right needle and simply place all those loops, including the, of course, last stitch that was knitted down there, five rows below. You knit them together through the back right there. You still have all those loops right here. And you have the stitch, you slide them off the needle. And that's pretty much all there is. Then the repeat goes, knit three, one, two, three. And then again, you take that stitch, you drop one, two, three, four. Let me see if I can get this. Five. See, I'm doing it from behind my camera here. And here you have all those loops. And you're going to put them on your needle, knit them together. See that? Slide them off. Knit three. One, two, three. Do that one more time. Take a stitch off. Drop one, drop two, drop three, drop four, drop. Can't see it from here. Five. And then take the last stitch here. Take them all together and knit them through the back loop. And then you just simply knit to the end. And then, so this is what this looks like now. And then you can see already there's another puff forming here and another puff forming here. And then you simply just purl back. Or if you knit in the round, you would just simply knit back. That's pretty much it. And you have to have uh, five rows in between the stitch pattern. So you repeat that. Um, you knit five rows or knit, purl, knit, purl, knit, purl, and then do the drop stitch row and keep, re keep rem um, repeating that. This is not easy doing knitting behind the camera with not seeing what's going on over there, but I think I got it. And keep playing it back if you have to. Anyway, here's the last stitch. And so I purled back and this is going to be the back side of it. Isn't that pretty? So the back and the front both have very interesting stitch patterns. I'm going to create more patterns with that. It's very pretty. I like it. And that's it. Enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.